Welcome to Borders True Romance. We're here today with Robin Carr. Welcome, Robin. How are Thanks you? Thanks for having me. I'm good. Well, how does it feel to be you with all this great success? I mean, Paradise Valley and Second Chance and so on and so forth. I mean, the Virgin River series has taken on a life of its own. It pretty much rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's yeah. just, this is a lot of fun. I'm not a newcomer. I sold my first book 30 years ago. So it's been, you know. Which was the most fun book to write of that series? Really the first one. It, when, I started, when I started writing the series, I envisioned a book about a midwife nurse practitioner in a small town. And, and I had to come up with a love interest and I thought a Marine would be, who owns a bar, would be a great <laughs> love interest in a little town of 600. So she's the only clinician, he's the only watering hole, mm -hmm. only place to buy a meal. And, um, and I thought this would be a great romance. And by the time I got 100 pages into it and his old squad started showing up, mm -hmm. I realized that I had many books. Mm -hmm. and, and as I completed that book, I started a second. And as I completed that, I went back to the first and made adjustments to accommodate the second and started the third. And it just, it just snowballed. I actually wrote the first four books in the series completely before I showed them to anybody. So you're saying that until you started the first book, you didn't really know it was going to be a series. I did not. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Uh -huh. But it had all the potential. And that's when I realized that the setting became a character, mm -hmm. the town became a character, mm -hmm. and that the canvas is very large. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with a large canvas, you can expand for indefinitely. Oh yeah, and that's what we're hoping for. I think you're in, <laughs> I think you're in luck. <laughs> I have to ask you, so that uh, was your most favorite book to write. So what is the, the book that was the most difficult for you to write? Um, Paradise Valley, mm -hmm. and I think if you count the Virgin River Christmas book, which is really oh, yeah. a standalone book, they're calling Paradise Valley the seventh book because they're counting that Christmas book, which comes right between those two trilogies. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's a story about a young man who's wounded in, in Iraq and comes back as an amputee. And that was, um, it was challenging, it was difficult, it, it was fantastic fun at the same time because my son is an orthopedic surgeon oh. in the Army, so, okay. um, he, so he helped me with that a lot when I could catch him. And, um, and there's a lot of therapy in the book. Mm -hmm. And I loved writing the therapy. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I got so many letters from men and from amputees. I had a letter from one man who said, uh, I, um, I lost my leg a year ago, and I realized I was such a jerk to my wife, I don't know why she stayed with me, and now I realize I need counseling, and I'm going to get counseling. So I wrote him back and said, well, where'd you get the book? And he said his sister gave it to him. And I think... Oh. I think a lot, I get a lot of letters from men now, and I think the men come to those books through their wives, sisters, and, and, and so forth, because they're yeah. clearly women's fiction, romances, yeah. even, if the, yeah. even if they're not sissy books. Yeah. They're, yeah. you know, yeah. so uh, that, was a, that was both fun, challenging, and, and tough. I mean, you know, if the, if the reader cries, the writer cries, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> there are more Virgin River sequels. Well, right? thank goodness you're sitting down. <laughs> because uh, every January, and January, February, and March for the next three years, you will see a new Virgin River. Really? Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> They're coming and coming and coming. Okay, so and so we're looking at 2010 now, so those books are done. Books, who are the characters that we're going to see in, in 2010? Those books? Um, at the end of the last book, the old busybody of town was uh, Hope McRae yeah, yeah. was auctioning a church on eBay. Mm -hmm. Well, in the next book, the first book in 2010, Forbidden Falls, we'll see the new preacher oh. come to town. And he's not your mama's preacher. Oh my! Yeah, that sounds fun. He's a very sexy preacher. And in the book after that, one of the minor characters from the previous trilogy, Luke Reardon, had a couple of brothers: Sean Reardon, who is a U-2 pilot in the Air Force, and and Aiden Reardon, who is an OBGYN in the Navy. Yeah. 
those the next books will be about those two. Oh, I'm excited! I can't I, wait. They're really they're really a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, Robin, if you weren't uh, a best-selling author, what would you be doing? God knows. You know, um, honestly, well, let me tell you a cute story. I think this is kind of uh, funny. My my daughter said to me, "I am so proud of you for hanging in there." You've wanted the bestseller list your entire life, and you never gave up. And I was so touched because, you know, your kids never notice what you do, you know. <laughs> and, and, I, and she said, it's not just that you made it, it's that you never gave up. And I thought, my goodness, this is so touching. And she said, when anybody in their right mind would have gotten that job at Costco years ago. <laughs> You know, family members can only say no, it like it is. No. <laughs> but I don't know. I um, there Maybe were working at Costco is what you're saying. <laughs> there were years that I couldn't sell a book, as with every writer, you go through hot periods and you know dry spells. And um, my husband and I always had long talks about whether or not I should just go get a job. You know, but writing is fun for me, and I know there's plenty of tortured writers out there that just drag themselves to the computer and um, I'm not one of them. I can't wait to get at it in the morning. I hate to stop at night and I, as long as I'm having fun it's what I'm gonna do and I, I believe that it somehow shows in the in the work if you're having a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, and the readers love the positive nature of the of the stories. Yes. Yes, you have great stories, uh, great characters, and uh, wonderful situations that you take them through. We, I know we all enjoy them so much. Thank you. Well, Robin, thank you so much for being here with us on Borders True Romance. All the success to you, best success to you in the future. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. Good seeing you.